Will you please tell us why you changed your mind? Well, I'm afraid I succumbed to a little gentle bribery the other day. The children's wing, you know. Then I thought it over very carefully. I simply couldn't do what you asked. Just, uh, uh, what do you mean, you couldn't? I mean I couldn't remove a book because it has ideas we don't like. But we're faced with a real problem, Mrs. Howell. Here are a dozen more letters we've received Letters from, from people who helped elect this council. And here's a petition from some group calling itself the Kenport Women's Committee Against Subversion. Unless there is immediate action, we intend to take this matter up with the newspapers. Now, is that shabby little potboiler worth this kind of disturbance? I'm afraid it is. You can't run a library or a city council. Do please everybody. <clears throat> Do you mind if I smoke? Not at all. Um, Mrs. Howell, can't we look at this from a practical point of view? Take my word for it. It's not unreasonable to ask you to take out just this one book. Is it this one book? We have an entire stack of books on political theory of all shades. What will happen if you start getting letters about them? Well, we'll have to worry about that when and if. Alicia, we've been friends for a good many years. I'll stick with you when you're right. But when you're wrong, you're wrong. What do you want to do? Turn the library into a propaganda agency for the Kremlin? Really? Really, Mr. Martin? What do you think... What do you think Thomas Jefferson would say to this? Oh, no, Alicia, let's not drag in the Founding Fathers. Please do not interrupt, Robert. I feel this most deeply. There was a book in our library for many years. It's still there. It made me sick to my stomach every time I checked it out. Mein Kampf. Maybe we ran the risk of spreading Hitlerism, but it didn't work that way. It worked the other way. People read it. It made them indignant. Maybe it helped defeat him. Don't you see, by keeping this book in the library, we attack the communist dream? We say to the communists, we do not fear you. We are not afraid of what you have to say. But you fear us. You fear the truth. Tell me. Would they dare keep a book praising democracy in a Russian library? Gentlemen, you want me to take this book out of the library. You ought to fight to keep it on the shelves.